Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Isle of Asia. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing how you can live cheaply in Thailand. The first tip is to live in the provinces or cheaper cities such as Chiang Mai. Many of us know that Thailand is a very cheap country compared to other countries in the world. However, certain areas are much more cheaper than others. For example, in Thailand, you will find that the most popular areas, usually the areas in the south, such as Koh Samui, Phuket, and of course, Bangkok are the most expensive areas and areas such as Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai and other provinces in the north are much cheaper. Next we have sticking to Thai food and drinking free water. One of the perks for living in Thailand is just how delicious the food is but also Thai food can be very inexpensive. Often western food is easily available however the prices are slightly more expensive and a lot of western food doesn't taste exactly like like you'll find the food back home. Thus, sticking to Thai food is a great way to save money. The next tip is not to buy from malls or shopping centers, but instead purchase items from Lazada. Now, if you don't know what Lazada is, it's basically the Amazon of Asia and they are everywhere. And the reason why I mention Lazada rather than public markets is that even though there's some great deals to be had at markets, unfortunately, some of the clothing is very low quality. However, with Lazada, you are slightly more protected. Next we have ATM fees. One of the hates of many foreigners living in Thailand is just how expensive the ATM fees can be, especially with the exchanges and the fees that banks charge on top of the local banks in Thailand. So applying for a local bank account and getting an ATM card will save you a lot of money in the short and long term. The next tip is to use an application called Tuk. So in Thailand, many people use the service of Grab. What Grab is, is essentially the Uber of Thailand. You can order food, you can send parcels, and also you can order taxis, all from the application. However, even though Grab is much cheaper than waving down a taxi that uses a meter, it can still be quite costly, especially during busy times. The Tuk app is a great application that even people who have lived in Thailand for a long time are not aware of, but it's essentially an application that allows you to order a tuk-tuk instead of a car. And in my experience, the Tuk app is usually around about 20 to 30% cheaper than Grab. Next, we're on the subject of food, but this is more specifically the food apps. Now, as mentioned, Grab is a very popular application in Thailand, but there's also many other different types of apps. But one of the best ones I personally use is Food Panda. Food Panda is available across many different countries, but they have some very interesting features which makes it cheaper than other places. The first feature is the commission that they charge restaurants. I have two very good friends in Thailand and both have restaurants and they inform me that the commission is usually anywhere between seven to 10% cheaper compared to other apps. And because it's cheaper, that means many restaurants lower their prices, sadly not all restaurants, but many restaurants lower their prices on the Food Panda app. The next feature is the use of the English language, so you know exactly what you're ordering. And finally, if there's any problems with an order or you have a complaint, Food Panda have a great customer service and they commonly give vouchers ranging from 40 to 100 Thai bar. The next tip is to travel now. As we know, the whole world has been impacted by coronavirus and Thailand's one of those countries that have been heavily impacted, especially due to the tourism of Thailand. But one benefit to those who are looking to travel is that prices are incredibly cheap. But this is not to generalize, not every area is super cheap. However, most places have seen a decrease in rent, in transportation costs. I was reading a report from the Thai government this morning that they anticipate that the level of tourism will return in the year 2025. One of the benefits of living and traveling in Thailand right now is going to these places that were normally crowded by tourists, but instead be able to take your time, enjoy the scenery, and all at a relatively lower cost. 